the morning, y'all. You know everyone wants to be powerful until the other part comes in with being powerful. You know what I'm talking about? So many countries want to go to war with America, but how come nobody wakes up in the morning and says, we're taking Paraguay? <laughs> or hey, Madagascar, you can't have it all. Mount up, boys, it's time for war. It's because they have no real power. The Middle East, y'all, is one big bonfire waiting for the torch. And there's a lot we can learn from a bonfire. You know, I remember moving into the place that we've got right now and I walked out in the backyard and I saw this big old 15 by 15 fire pit already established, ashes right there. I said, hot dog, you know, we're, we're gonna be getting some use out of this. But a small campfire, if y'all were in scouts, you remember this, a small campfire has to be intentional. You start with some small tender at the bottom followed by some tiny sticks, followed by some bigger sticks, followed by some limbs, and ultimately a big old log that you can put on there and just let it cook all night long while you go to sleep. Thing about it is a campfire is easy to put out. Now a bonfire you know is very different. You could take a lighter all day long and you can light it underneath a 10 inch thick log in a bonfire, try to get it started, it ain't gonna happen because it has a lot to catch. It takes a lot of buildup. But we all know the other truth. Once you get a spot going hot enough inside of a bonfire, going really, really hot, it ain't too long before you're gonna have a 20 foot flame and you better have the fire lines already drawn in a big circle around so it doesn't get messy. Well, we got two bonfires burning white hot right now. The war in Russia, Ukraine, and now the war of Israel versus the entire Middle East. One of my favorite movies of all time is a Brad Pitt movie called Legends of the Fall. Y'all probably seen this. It's about a story about three brothers in Montana during World War I. Now, it's fascinating to me when I watch them all sit at the table reading the newspaper and just having the same conversations that we're having now in 2023. The fire is spread, Dad. It's too big. It's too fast. What's our next move? How do we plan? Uh, where do we go? What do we do? So we all know what's coming next, y'all. We've read the book, so here's my question for you. Watch this. Ugh. About 70 pounds of food storage right there. Do you have long-term food storage? Everybody thinks about just total war, but it doesn't have to be absolute war to need this kind of stuff. It could be power outages, hurricanes, national disasters, grid collapse like in uh, Texas and Ohio. It could be rolling blackouts like happened in uh, California. So just a heads up, this company right here, the day it ships to your house, the products and ingredients inside, which are all American made by the way, they're like three months old. Other companies will tell you, we got a shelf life of like 15 years and it's been sitting in their warehouse for five years already. So by the time it gets to you, it's, you know, you got 10 years left. Ready Pantry has a 25 year shelf life. I really can't imagine looking at my kids if all war breaks out and all hell breaks loose and them saying, daddy, we're hungry. You know, we, what are we gonna eat? And just that horrible sinking feeling inside not knowing what to do. So take that awful feeling away. I'll even help you all out with a discount, okay? Readypantry.com slash buddy and enter code BUDDY at checkout, you'll get 10% off plus free shipping. Just use code BUDDY. So here's where we are right now. Hamas is now taking car keys from the people inside Gaza Strip. The civilians, okay, they can't escape. And if they even do get to their car, they've got blockades formed that they can't even escape. You think, well, this isn't protecting their civilians. The civilians are gonna get killed. That's exactly right. Hamas doesn't care if all their civilian Palestinian friends get killed or not. Matter of fact, that just is a bonus. It sweetens the pot for them. It sweetens the deal because now they can play the media however they want. Israel comes in and levels Gaza. Civilians die. Well, you got your motive for every single country in the Middle East to surround Israel, which by the way, is what we mentioned last week when I talked about Luke chapter 21. It happens. Israel gets surrounded. By the way, in my last video, I asked y'all to say a prayer for Israel and comment below. We got over 3,000 prayers. Do you know how powerful that is? It's one of the most special things I think we've ever done on this channel. So I'm gonna leave you with this right here. Yes, total war is gonna create desperation, which you know sounds like a really horrible thing, but the good thing about desperation is it demands truth. It demands a way out. Well, there is truth. There is a way out. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Be ready for his return, but take care of your needs while you're here. Readypantry.com slash buddy. Stock up on this stuff while you can, and uh, just that peace of mind. It's amazing. God bless y'all. Be good.